So what is up guys? I'm bringing you a discussion video and an Infinite Warfare gameplay. I wanted to talk about why people play video games. There are a lot of reasons and I'm using this Infinite Warfare gameplay to kind of back up one of the reasons why people play video games. So let's get started. One big reason why people play video games is to kill time. This mainly applies to mobile games, like when people are at the doctor's office and they're sitting in a waiting room for two hours waiting to be called. And generally, this is a pretty effective way to make the time go by faster. Some people play video games because it helps them relieve stress. Now, it all depends on what video game you're playing because I tell you what, when I play Call of Duty, I get stressed out. I would say one of the reasons why I play Call of Duty a lot is because it helps me release a lot of built-up aggression I have throughout the day. But I think the biggest reason why a lot of people play video games is because they get to do things in a video game that they cannot do in real life. They get to live in another reality. I know a lot of people who aren't into video games would criticize that and say, you need to get back to the real world, buddy. Well, here's the thing, man. The real world kind of sucks most of the time. I know somebody who can't walk and he's bound to a wheelchair for the rest of his life. He loves to play some video games. This is the closest thing he is going to get in his life to basically walking. And, you know, that's something some people should really think about here. On GTA Online, you are basically living a whole nother life. You get to buy fancy cars, you get to live in fancy houses and have a lot of money. And some people aren't gifted in this world like that. On Forza and other racing games, you get to drive these super fast, expensive cars and go racing in them. On Ark, you can train dinosaurs and have them as your pets. On Elder Scrolls, you can go out and slay monsters and dragons. A lot of people hate on sports games and say, why don't you go outside and play some sports? Well, here's a news flash. How often can people become LeBron James and play as him, their favorite player in the world? There's only one person that can be LeBron James, and that's LeBron James himself. But in a video game, they get to be him. And that also goes along with my point I made earlier that some people aren't physically able to play sports either. For the past couple years, a lot of fellow video gamers have hated on other video games just because they're not realistic. I remember when I was playing Infinite Warfare a couple years ago, and I would constantly get attacked by Battlefield fans. They would say, why do you play this garbage? It's not realistic. It doesn't simulate war. And, you know, come to think of it, man, Battlefield is really not that realistic either. Uh, I watched tons of Battlefield clips, and one specifically stands out. A lot of people do it, but guys flying a fighter jet, he's being chased by an enemy fighter, and the guy ejects out of his jet, spins around, shoots the enemy jet with an RPG, blows him up, and then lands back into the jet and keeps flying on. Please tell me what is realistic about that. You would die in real life landing back into a jet like that. And I think that we kind of need to get out of this whole mindset of making realistic games because it can ruin them. Now, I'm not hating on Battlefield. Battlefield is a pretty solid game. I have three Battlefield games myself. I'm just responding to a, what a lot of the diehard fans have to say about Call of Duty in general. But see... This is what Infinite Warfare nailed on the head. You get to do things in this game that you cannot do in real life. You cannot go into battle with jetpacks and laser guns and shoot at the enemy. I mean, seriously, you can't do that in real life. At least not in this lifetime. Yeah, some of the things in this game can be pretty broken and overpowering, but overall... I really like this game, you guys. A lot of people hated on it, but like I said, the main reason why I like this game is because it had a lot of emphasis on jetpacks and laser guns. This was the most futuristic Call of Duty that has come out, and I really think it was taken for granted. I know there's a small amount of people that'll actually agree with me, but I know that there's a lot of people that'll say, nah, dude, this game's freaking garbage. 
Maybe I changed some people's minds on how they feel about this game, but more than likely, I didn't. But I hope at least maybe I opened a lot of people's minds on how they should feel when they play a video game, or how a video game should be in general. When you are living in an alternate reality, it can be very fun sometimes. And this is why video games tend to be fun for a lot of people. But anyways guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Alrighty, later my fellow gamers.